As of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, there was ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, specifically in the easternmost regions of Ukraine known as Donetsk and Luhansk. Here are some key facts about the Russia-Ukraine war up until that time. Background, the conflict began in 2014 when Russia annexed Crimea, a region previously part of Ukraine. Following the annexation, pro-Russian separatist movements emerged in eastern Ukraine, leading to armed conflict. Videos show multiple Russian soldiers being surrendered in the front line. Russian soldiers surrendered to Ukraine inside trenches. In my opinion, I don't blame those young Russian soldiers for giving it up. The Ukrainian government has said a scheme it created for Russian soldiers to surrender is getting up to 100 inquiries a day. The I Want to Live project was started in September. By calling a hotline or entering details through messenger apps, Russian troops can arrange the best way to surrender to Ukrainian forces. Officials in Kyiv say they've had more than 3,500 contacts from invading personnel, as well as their families. It follows the emergence of a video from the front line in eastern Ukraine showing the apparent surrender of a number of soldiers in an incident that ends in their deaths. A Ukrainian official has claimed that the surrender was staged by Russian troops in an attempt to attack their captors. The BBC has been attempting to piece together what happened from the available video footage. Donetsk and Luhansk, the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic, DPR and Luhansk People's Republic LPR were established by pro-Russian separatists in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions, respectively. These regions declared independence from Ukraine, which was not internationally recognized. Ukrainian government response, the Ukrainian government launched a military operation to regain control over the separatist-held territories. This resulted in ongoing clashes between the Ukrainian armed forces and separatist groups. Humanitarian impact, the conflict has had severe humanitarian consequences, including a significant number of casualties, displacement of people, and damage to infrastructure. It has also led to the loss of civilian lives and caused a major humanitarian crisis in the affected regions. Minsk agreements, multiple ceasefires and peace agreements, collectively known as the Minsk agreements, have been signed between Russia, Ukraine, and separatist leaders. These agreements aim to establish a lasting ceasefire, withdraw heavy weapons from the front lines, and facilitate a political resolution to the conflict. However, the implementation of these agreements has been challenging, with numerous violations reported by both sides. International involvement, the conflict has drawn international attention and involvement. Several countries, including the United States and European Union member states, imposed economic sanctions on Russia for its role in the conflict. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE, has also been monitoring the situation on the ground. It's important to note that the situation may have evolved since my last knowledge update. For the most up-to-date information, I recommend referring to reliable news sources and international organizations.